Hi everyone, it's Abby from Feather and Fossil Interior Design. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a bathroom design using Foyer Neo. So firstly, I'm going to start by changing the floor. For this, I'm going to go to the texture button on the left hand side panel and search for the new floor I want. I can then change the texture size to customize my design. Next, I'm going to upload my own paint color to go on the wall paneling. I'm going to do this by going to textures, upload, selecting my image and then applying it to the panels. I then went to change the shower accessories colour, so again I'm going to go to textures, search for gold and then click on the colour I want and change it. Now to add some tiles. I found the ones I like in the catalogue and I'm going to use the clone tool to duplicate the item. Once I have three rows of tiles, I'm going to push the command button on my keyboard and click all the items I want to select. Then go to group products. I can then clone this to save time in large areas. I want to add in a specific tap for the bath so I can use the catalogue search to look for a specific brand and then use the rotate tool to line it up perfectly. Next, I'm adding a vanity and sink unit. I'm going to pick the unit I like and then resize it to make it fit to the space I have. The blue snapping tool will let me know when my vanity is against the outer wall of the design. I'm then going to change the colour to match the door and fireplace. To do this, I'm going to go to textures, search the colour I want and apply it to the item. I need to realign my bath, so I'm going to use the group products function again so I can keep my bath and taps joined together when moving. I'm then going to add a toilet from the catalogue, again using the blue highlight to show me when it's snapped to the wall. Now I want to add some lights into my design. I'm going to change my view so I'm looking up at the ceiling and then I'm going to use the grid line function at the top left of my screen to draw a grid of where I would like the spotlights to go. This will help me keep them in line and uniform. I'm going to search for a spotlight in the catalogue and then use the clone tool to duplicate as many times as needed for my design. To remove the grid lines, you just need to click on the scissor icon at the top middle of the screen and then click on the lines to remove it. I'm going to use the grid lines again to make sure my wall lights are lined up. Again, I've drawn a grid providing vertical and horizontal guidelines. I'm going to use the resize tool to make the lights fit in with my scheme and to allow me to add mirrors in between each of the lights. I'm now going to start adding my accessories to the room, starting with some decorative side tables. I'm going to use the clone tool as I want two tables, but I'm going to use the resize function to change them so they are different sizes. I'm now going to use the free mo movement function to move my mirror on the mantle and the rotate tool whilst in free movement to ensure it's exactly how I want it. And now I'm going to add some towels using the clone tool to duplicate as before. I'm going to change the colour and because I have cloned the items, the changes will apply to all towels, saving me time. We're now going to render the design. In the top right hand side, click Take Render. And on the left hand side, you can use the Hide function to remove any walls in your way. At this point, you can also play with the lighting options, both internal lighting with the sliders and external lighting with the sun icon on the bottom right. Now click the Get Preview button in the middle bottom of the screen and a preview will pop up on the bottom right. Now click take the render button. Change the settings to 4K and click render. The render will be in the gallery section at the bottom left corner of your screen. And here are the finished renders. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to try Foyer's 14 day free trial. Click on the link in the description below. See you in the next video.